Hi everybody, this is Diane. I have a package here to go through with you. Some of it is things that I ordered and some of it is a gift. So um, Selena from Amour Fabrics told me that she was going to be sending me something. She uh, told me what it is. She sent me a picture um, of what it is and I'm so excited. And I hadn't ordered anything from her for a while so I checked out her shop and I found a couple things. So let's take a look. I'll just pull everything out of the bag. So this is the gift. Look at that. And look how nicely she wrapped it. She is an artist when it comes to packing up her orders. I love this string too, the tie. It looks like red ticking with hearts in between. That's really pretty. I will keep that and use it. But look at this. Oh my gosh. She sent me a picture of this fabric in it. She said she has this collection of fabrics. I don't know if they came together. I think these two were <clears throat> made to go together. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. But she had these all bundled, bunched together, I guess, in her craft room or warehouse or wherever she had it. And she just loves to admire it. So she shared some with me. I told her I didn't need much, but this looks like a pretty big piece. Oh my gosh, I love this. So I could cut these hearts out and use them individually or, you know, use a piece as a cover. It's gorgeous. It is Daisy Kingdom, 1997, Raggedy Ann and Friends all over. I love it. I love it, Selena. Thank you so much. And uh, she just wanted to gift it to me. She asked me if I could use it, and I told her I would pay for it. But she said she loves to share. And this is a uh, complimenting print, and it just says Raggedy Ann and Andy all over it with blue hearts. And this is also Daisy Kingdom, Raggedy Ann and Andy all over words dark. So it must be means the background is dark. Interesting. Very pretty. This would be great for fabric flips, even a, a cover. And you could put this as the cover and then put a couple of hearts of these hearts on it for your fabric cover. And this is looks like Valentine hearts. And it's gorgeous. But you know, Raggedy Ann has a candy heart sewn into her body. Um, this is timeless treasure for high fashion fabrics then it's over here it says heart it's lovely and then here is a piece of that fabric that she made the tie out of so it just as I, as I said looks like red ticking and it's got little hearts in it it's perfect for Raggedy Ann And this blue, kind of a mottled design. And that goes very well with the color scheme of Raggedy Ann and Andy. So I'm thinking my next journals might be Raggedy Ann. I knew it, was, it would be one of the next ones. It was a debate between two. And I think um, I was gifted some Raggedy Ann books from Mary and now these fabrics from Selena. So I think I'll make Raggedy Ann my next set of journals that I make. I think she gifted this to me too. Well, I know she did, I didn't buy this. It looks like there's something else extra here. little postcards that look like Hummel, but they're Hilda, H-I-L-D-E. I've never seen that name. I've seen um, 
What's the other one that I see all the time that looks like these? Because they look like Hummel. But they're, they are very, very sweet. I wonder if I could use these or some of these in a Heidi journal. Yeah, I think I'll save some of those for a Heidi journal. Yeah, I did not order this. I ordered those two things. So this is more bonus from Selena. Some little fabric scraps. I love this. This would make great um, tabs or a great tab in a golden book journal, wouldn't it? The primary colors, the numbers, the little animals. That's adorable. This one has puppies on it. Looks like a reproduction of a 30s print these do. They don't feel like old fabrics. That's why I say reproduction. I love this one. They are all lovely. I love blue. And a card. This is a current card. It's embossed with a pretty rose. I love that. And two baggies of postage stamps. I like to use postage stamps. I don't always think to, but I do like them. Another little strip of that fabric. Friendship with oneself is all important because without it, one cannot be friends with anyone else in the world. Eleanor Roosevelt. What is thine is mine and all mine is thine. Very nice. Now we have some children's book pages here. The captain was a duck with a packet on his back. And when the ship began to move, the captain said, quack, quack. You know how I love children's book pages. And children's songbook page. You can tell this is vintage. This looks like the Bremontown musicians, maybe. Polly, Waddle, Polly Wally Doodle. <laughs> That's a cute picture. College song. I did not know this was a college song. Songs we know. Johnny Schmoker. <laughs> That's cute. I'll go a little quicker, quicker so we can get to what I ordered. Um, I could just sit here and look at these all day, but maybe you don't want to. These are... Um, Vintage dictionary pages. Ooh, Alaska. I like this because you can write on it. Oh, somebody did. Did some lettering on it. Or numbering, I mean. Oh, she was taking apart children's books and making packets. I like this design here. Snoopy! So this looks like a Peanuts Dictionary. I love it. <laughs> Linus shook the tree to get Snoopy to come down. <laughs> Oh. Fun pictures. Um, color by number. Ooh, little red riding hood. And some word puzzles. 
looks like word search and some crossword puzzle pages and some more music pages and a math workbook page. Love it. And a Beatrix Potter book page. Can't beat that. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Selena, and totally unexpected. All of that that I just showed you, that was the gift portion. Now let's look at what I ordered. So I ordered this pack. Uh, it's a journal kit. I love this book cover. So this is going to be a journal for me. The, these might both be journals for me. You know, I try to get my supplies for journals that I create at reasonable prices for you know, my supplies. And I convinced myself that it was okay to buy this kit. I don't need children's book pages. I have plenty of children's book pages. So I didn't really need the kit, but I really loved this book. I've never seen it. And you know, I love houses and homes and the images of a home. And this is a first edition book. She had a whole set of first, second, and third edition golden books with these supplies. And this one was still there in the shop, and I snatched it up. So it comes with a little denim pocket that was cut off a pair of jeans. I love it. And some vintage buttons. That's really pretty. Some vintage rickrack. Hmm. Sorry, my allergies just started kicking in. My throat is itching. And my ears are itching. Um, here's another scrap of this fabric that I love. So now I have two pieces. And look at these other fabrics that go so well with it. They're just small pieces, but they are enough to make fun things for your journals. These little squares could be cut out and added to the top of a fabric cluster. And these could be layers in the fabric clusters. Very nice, fun, bright colors. Let's take a look at this book. It's by Margaret Wise Brown with pictures by J.P. Miller. And the year is 1950. So it just has different houses who, who lives in the houses like a turtle's shell and a snail's shell and a cave for a bear oh lions fun trying to see oh who lives there in that roly-poly place that floats in the air and it's asking do all of these critters live there no and now your get and now you guess whose house is there coming near through the air no all the guesses are wrong it is a wonderful house with wings to fly with and wheels to roll on a boy and a girl live in this house with a dog and a rabbit and a cat and a mouse. <laughs> That's really cute. So then um, each of the sets, there might be some more sets still in her shop. I didn't look of other books. Um, and each set comes with, you know, the fabrics in the pocket and the buttons and book pages. So there's Dick and Jane. I love this too. I love workbooks, especially vintage ones. So we don't have to look at every single page, but I'll leave a link to her shop below. She always has fun things in her shop. There's a recipe card. So it looks like um, many of the same pages that she gave me in that free little bundle. 
from the same books, I mean. Curious George. Haven't seen him in a while. Oh, Ooh, there's a piece of typewriter paper. And a piece of a planner paper. Looks like some golden book pages. Or this one, at least. This is from an older book. I love those kinds of illustrations from the 30s. And some poems. And then this packet has some ephemera. It's fun to see Selena do videos from her warehouse. Her warehouse is impressive. Her shelves and totes with all the stuff that she sells. This is a bridge score. I've never seen one like that. I like it. And a time flashcard. Savings and loan record. Must be for a game. Auto repair bill. That's definitely for a game. We have a telling time flashcard, and now it's learning about money. Some more game score sheets. I've heard of Yahtzee. This is a travel Yahtzee. And this is play on words. I've never heard of that one. Fun in the sun and joyful, it says. Some money and Monopoly piece. Some little note papers, April and October, and some receipts. I'll keep this October one out and use it in my journal. I'm actually not really journaling lately. I just, I've been feeling pretty down and I don't feel like writing about it and I should. Um, but I've been kind of keeping quick notes about my days. Like I did this and this this day, or it rained, or whatever. So if I feel like catching up, I'll have the notes to catch up with. But maybe this will get me into that journal working. I finished the journal that I've been using. And I did actually start writing in another journal, but I don't know. I kind of fizzled out. So this, I think this was in her shop for a while. Because I went back and saw, found the video for it and it was I don't know I don't remember how long ago it was but I was surprised that there were still some sets there there might still be more so go check her shop out so she is a quilter and she sews things and she was doing that before she got into selling junk journal supplies and she did that for a long time just selling the supplies and she's very good at it she puts together nice bundles and now I think she might actually be making journals. I don't know if she sells them, but I think she makes some, if I'm not mistaken. You could correct me, Selena. So anyway, she's got some quilt blocks here that can be used for journal covers. So I love this. She made this. She sewed, cut out two heart shapes from an old quilt piece, sewed them together, and then put grommets in. And then this string is to go through the grommets and it would um, tie around the journal that you make with the quilt pieces. And I love this. This actually might be <clears throat> the tipping point for why I purchased this because I thought it was such a nice accent and it was something that Selena made. This is embroidery um, scissors. So each bundle has embroidery scissors and some floss and some buttons. Isn't that cool? And they're pretty ones. And there's some trim with each set. So this looks like a gimp trim. And this little piece of an eyelet. And a couple crochet pieces. This is a cut off strip. I love this. I like this one too. I'll definitely use that. So these will be, uh, I love the size of this for a fun journal. I wanted the pink and blue one, of course. 
and it's quilted on both sides. It's pieced on both sides, and these are hand quilting stitches. There is some machine stitching here, but there's hand stitching. Um, it's like, like, no, that's, that's hand stitched. It's not machine stitching. So it's all hand done. And it's on both sides. So I want to make a, a journal for myself with that one. And then maybe I could make a journal to sell with this piece. Oh, it opens up like this. Okay. So this would be a bigger journal. And I love this patchy look. I would kind of like to just cut this up and use it in other journals because I love the small patches and it's definitely vintage. But I might make a journal cover with it. And she gave two options for lining. So these are cut big enough for this one. No, I don't want to line this one. Maybe it's for this one. But anyway, it's a piece of chenille. Just white chenille. So I could use that for this or this. I love this gorgeous yellow fabric. So I'll make that decision when the time comes. And then along with that is a file folder. She thought that could be the, the base. So this on the outside and this on the inside or this on the inside but cut this down and make it be the base of your journal. And then there are pages out of various quilting books. Nice big pages, beautiful quilting designs and patterns. Very fun. So I'm excited about these and I've got some cleanup to do and uh, I want to put some stuff in my shop and then I will get started on Raggedy Ann journals. Yay! I'm so excited. I have so many journals I'm excited about working on and I wish I could do them all at the same time. How many of you feel that way if you are creators? How many of you want to do all of the journals right now? I do. It's a sickness. So I'm very excited about these journals. Tell me what you think. And I will be back with another video very soon. And I hope that you come along. Have a creative day. Thank you, Selena, so much. Bye.